What's up, Scrollgers? It's an RPO, and welcome to another video. I got my spot back up to number one, which is awesome, but today we're going to do Judgment. More Judgment. This is weird. Look at these buttons. The font is, like, larger than usual. Whoa, credits and conduct. Definitely, conduct doesn't even fit. Sign out. Right, for some reason, the font's, like, all screwed up here in some of the buttons. Those buttons and these buttons. Whatever. Um, is it in like that, that in the settings too? That looks normal. Okay, but enough about that. I know lately on my channel it's been ranked judgment. It's kind of a, a little, maybe a little boring if you're not into that stuff. But I mean, Scrolls does not have that many game modes to offer, and I've done all the trials. So let me know in the comments what you want to see. Uh, if there's like a hard trial that I didn't do a video tutorial on yet, but you need help with it, just leave a comment below, and maybe I'll do a video tutorial for you. And um, just let me know what you want me to do, because I'm not sure. Um, I do have to get some casting in, because I'm doing some important casting in a couple of weeks. And maybe I'll do a video or two of just me spectating games and talking about them. Kind of like what Smogan does in the Badger Guild. Because i got to get better at that, because I'm going to be doing some of that soon. But today, we're going to do Judgment, but a little bit of a twist. Uh, who was it? I think it was on the last Judgment video who commented. Sorry about that. Uh, the Karma Box. He asked me, this is what I, I interpreted from his, uh, sorry about that. His comment. He told me to choose, go into Judgment, choose one row, and only pick from that row. So it's going to be a really bad deck. So I'll choose one of these four rows, and throughout the whole thing, I have to choose from that row and then play with the match. You know, I do have, I am very, do I do very well in Judgment, so it's nice to shake it up and make it much harder, but this, like, this video is going to be stark contrast from the last Judgment video, the last one I was analyzing every pick, this one I'm just going to mindlessly choose a row and pick, and, um, hopefully I get things from a certain faction, enough creatures to actually play, and my goal is to win at least one match with the deck, at least one, that means just don't lose twice <laughs> as soon as I get it, and... It's going to be tough, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it, but I'll try it. So, what what row should I pick? Or column, I guess. I guess it's column. Um, the first column, I get a Kinfolk Veteran, Omen of Damnation, and a Tribal Memorial. At least that gives growth in this growth. Second column, I get Gravelock Guard, Plating, Our Heart's Disciple. Third column, Southern form, Hex marks, more curiosity. So I'm not picking this row, but there's no creature. I think creatures are going to be very hard to come by if I'm picking from a single row. This are plating, plating, and righteous barbs. You know, this is tough. This is really tough. Because Veteran's obviously the best scroll, like, of these 12 scrolls. But I think it might be wiser for me to, to go with the lower-costed Gravelock Guard and also have a plating for with replenish and the our hearts disciple because those are like three usable scrolls so i think i'm gonna go with that maybe making a big mistake here so let's just take the robot guard the plating we're going with we're going with the second row and so far it looks okay i guess i mean the rest of the scrolls on this row wouldn't have been too helpful either. i guess if i went this or wing charger's not that bad but plating our hearts disciple Stone Pack Memorial. Okay, so we're, we have some energy stuff with like the Gravelock, uh, with the Gra Gravelock Guard too. We have Tempest Reaver, Dust Runner. So I think it was okay what I did there. I wish I could take the cannon, but I have to stay in this row. Unforeseen onslaught. Probably won't have to. Probably won't be able to play that. Dust Runner. This gives me energy. That's not too bad. Still Sand Pack Memorial. Um. I think it's probably going to be pretty good because I'm probably not going to have that many creatures, so I might need to use it. Faith, duty, eh. Dry power, nog. Alright, I see, like, things on the other side, on the rest of the row that I want to take so badly, but I just, I can't. Uh, rekindled spirit. This row might have been good. Look at all the creatures in this row. She probably should have gone with the veteran row. Kindled spirit. Redesign. Only should our power. Husk. Okay, so now we have a lot of growth stuff. We do have some energy stuff. It's going to be interesting what kind of deck I can make out of this. Okay, we have like a decay energy kind of thing going on here. Here, Ironclad River is a very good scroll. Our deck will be surrounded... 
around an ironclad reaver. Ugh, I hate this deck. I don't even know what faction it's in. Oh boy, this is not gonna go well. Look at all these random scrolls. Can I even make a... Oh, I can actually make a dual color deck. Nice, I can go... Alright, we're going with growth and... Growth and energy, let's see what we want. I don't have, like, good stuff though. Alright, we're, we're growth... Energy. So one stack are probably not useful. This gives me order. Um... Oh, but I want... I guess I'll keep dark strike just because it has removal. Kindled spirit, sun eruption. Uh, I don't know, totem mask. Any creatures and removal if I can get it. Overdrive, do I have anything I could even use overdrive? No, but I can put on something else and use it as like removal almost. Ugh, this is so bad. Um, nine creatures. I guess ten creatures with Eye of Eagle. This is such a bad deck. Would it be would it be worthwhile to go with I mean this is like nice like I could splash a focus, but then it screws up the whole Screws up the whole wild system because I can't because then it's hard to go into wild with three resources. Let's just yeah, let's just use what we have in growth and energy. Um, what structures do I have? Sand pack memorial and that's it. So electrify is probably not going to be that good. And stone pack memorial. Just I don't need that. I don't know what's it. Do? I don't even know. What's it. I guess I guess illthorn and vicious strike have the highest chance of even doing something there. And then I have to choose three of these scrolls. I don't know. Vitriol Aura. I guess Poison Last Forever, whatever, I'll take it. And. I don't know. Overdrive? I can. The beginning of the turn, the enchanted structure. Is dealt one damage so it, it this could be like a deal one damage to target structure I think you could place it on the potent structure so I'll take it and then one electrify who knows it's gonna come in handy okay this is a really bad deck but all I'm aiming for I want one win I want one win energy growth I'm not sure I would wait where I see where I have more creatures and I have my strongest creatures in energy, so I should probably go for energy first. Unless I start with like Vetters and Nox. Uh, yeah, we're doing that. Alright, so energy growth, come on. Let's do this. I will be back when a match is found. I finally found a match. I go first versus Z Sniper 1. Oh, I actually, um, I programmed on like my keyboard's macro keys. I don't even know what they're called programmed to uh, say hi good luck have fun types it out for me I also have one of them for GGWP considering how many, how many times I type those per day I think that's a good call I'll draw a new hand from this yeah, that's better I like I said I think I want to go Ooh, actually I can go to growth first and then have this central memorial Ooh, I'm gonna go like that okay so it's so fun just doing these like keys it just it types it for you like i'm just clicking one i just click two buttons type all that uh so i'll go for growth um i think it's gonna be better to get a decent uh decently strong creature out earlier the nog i see a lot of people talking about how like nog's so bad on its own like he, like people people are treating nog as what owl is like they're like they they're like oh owls like when you see owls it's obviously from a sister of the owl and people think when you see nogs it's from a uh a nog nest but but nogs are this have the same stats as kinfil granger so i don't know what they're talking about and oh boy i can play ironclad river this turn can't i let's do it so let's go for uh, growth. Let's sacrifice the Greylock guard. Do that. And play the Ironclad Reaver. So far, so good. 
this one one column judgment uh, judgment challenge. Oh man, why did I sign up for that? It's going well so far. I have more units on the board than him. Okay, I, I guess I'll just I don't know. Let's draw a guy. Snargle Hunter, I do like. Let's just should I go for energy? I'll just sacrifice for scrolls. And a better. Let's play the better. Now here's the question: Do I want to? Okay, I'm just gonna move you up down here. And now hopefully there's no way for Z Sniper to destroy this Ironclad Reaver. That would be pretty bad if Z Sniper is able to do that. Okay. Interesting. Just decides to hit an idol. That's strange. Oh, oh boy, the spiky is strong in this one. It looks like. Ooh, rekindled spirit. Unleash inner power. It's decent. I think we have to go ahead and. No, I'm gonna get rid of this for some scrolls. Oh no, we can't afford to just lose jump blockers though. I don't know yet, so actually let's just do it. Alright, good. That was very good. Now I can play the Dust Runner. And. I'm gonna kill it. Because I don't have anything else to be able to kill it, you know? So I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy that. And I'm. The two damage, I'll just have to suck it up. Hopefully I can have these guys be able to destroy this wing soldier. And I can start going for wild. But I can't actually play the snorkel hunter next turn. Oh my god, all the so much spiky. This guy is so much spiky. Oh redesign doesn't help me here. Uh I'm going to Sacrifice for wild. I just have to get to this stuff now. So I'm just gonna have almost like a dead turn. I'm gonna sacrifice this Nog. It'll give his life to destroy this wing spear. So this Nog was a valiant fighter. He in his lifetime he killed two wing spears. So good on him. And hopefully there's no like pother or flip to destroy this iron cloud reaver, that would suck. And if he wants to move up and destroy this Sandpunk Moro, then I could have this Dust Runner come down and destroy his face. Okay, so for Wild, that means he has an idea of what he wants to do, which is usually a bad sign. Because when usually when you see someone sacrifice scrolls, you're like, oh, they don't have a play, they're searching for something. But, alright, he, good, he does not, he just fills up, he fills, I mean, that's not really good, but whatever. Um, let's go for more Wild. Elthorn is. I could fight back with my spiky, but Elthorn, Elthorn should have spiky too. I mean, come on. Who's actually going to play Elthorn, anyways? Um, it's because you're going to have, uh, like, invincibility next turn. I almost want to move down, but I mean, who who cares? I'd rather just take down middle idol, middle idol faster. So. Yeah. And let's actually use the Dust Runner's attack on the middle idol as well. Because then the middle idol goes down to just one more hit by this Ironclad Reaver. And I know Snarkle Hounds are probably just going to be a 3 2 3. Because it doesn't look like there's any beasts in Z Snipers. Actually, no, he's in growth. So maybe we'll see like Ragged Wolves and stuff like that. Owls, maybe. So maybe I will get some extra energy. Gallant Defender. That's, that's a scary guy. And. Who has more units? I have more units, but actually I have to have less units to deal any kind of damage to him. That's not good. I think my armor guy in Tempest River is gonna be nice and nice and strong. So let's go to the totem mask. Play Tempest Reaver. And get all this stuff out of the way. I'll get you all the way out of the way. And what I'm going to do, Pother just screws me over so hard, but 
I'm gonna have it so these three attacking units are all in this lane. So if he decides to move up, they can all unleash. Oh, but it it does make it that I can't move my temp my tempest river is not protecting anything important right now. So we're probably gonna lose this match. But if Z Sniper doesn't have any like, so he moves up. If he plays two things this turn, I'm going to have less units than Z Sniper, which means I can kill his Gallant Defender. I just need less units. That's one. Well, I mean, actually, he moves away with his Gallant Defender, so it doesn't really matter. And bind your root on him. Okay. hurts but actually blocks me a little bit too oh boy vitriol or let's get rid of plating and a stag heart hey actually plating would I mean stag heart on the dust runner would make it no it wouldn't it wouldn't deal enough damage to deal damage to the, the wing shield would it yeah no it wouldn't darn it let's just yeah i could stag heart the ironclad reaver to destroy this wing shield but i don't think that's worth it so let's just go down with this and pass my turn. <sighs> yeah. We're so confident after that Sandback Memorial Ironclad Reaver start. I'm afraid won't be enough to play against actual judgment decks. Who knows? Maybe I'm still in. If I was able to take out Metal Idol, maybe I could have rushed him. I don't know. Okay. Transposition. Alright, that thing doesn't even die. But it's. A oh. Oh. Ooh. Well, I guess. I mean, he. It does hurt him a lot, too. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Dag heart. Lading. Um. I'd rather, even though stack card's only a 1-1 one, one increase, I don't like the the countdown increase from Bear Paws. Let's get rid of that. Well. Well. What, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> I guess I'll just move up. Plating costs zero, basically, so there's no real point in me playing it in advance. Okay, so he takes down the Snorgle Hunter. I wish this river was in front of the Dust Runner. It's not necessarily, we'll, we'll see. Okay. Uh-oh. He's a scary guy. Ooh, Dark Strike. Removal. I forgot. There's removal on this deck. Um, we're probably gonna have to use the Dark Strike for, like, the Wing Shield or something. Let's just sacrifice for scrolls. That doesn't help. 
and I guess I'll dark strike. So I can dark strike. I guess I have to kill some stuff. And I can dark strike just about anything. I guess I should dark strike the thing that gives it that has so much armor. So I'll get rid of that. And yeah. I'm still gonna lose. Unless I had like Thunder Surge. My, I guess my, my only chance I could I could have possibly uh, won a match with a deck that you just go down the row the the column is if I was playing somebody who didn't know how to play scrolls. But Z Sniper seems competent enough. Oh, the Inferno Blast even messes up killing both of these guys. Let's get rid of that. Ooh, Dryadic Power I can actually like stop you from moving. What if I? Nah. All right, let's Ivy Eagle. Vengeful Vetter. Okay, let's just go for the Inferno Blast anyways. So I can at least, right here. And that means now, this Wing Soldier is basically attached to this Royal Infantryman, so he can't really move. And if I put a Dryad Power on that, then he can't like move at all. I could put a Dryad Power on that. And then... Let's do it. I don't know why I did that. That was probably really, really, really weird. Whatever. I don't like trying to win this match anyways. Okay, so he can't really move up to attack me. But he actually wins if he just has like a focus in hand right now. He can just move down with the soldier and the crossman and focus the crossman, he wins. Reversal. Ha ha ha. He forgot. He forgot about the medic. He was this this guy. I didn't I had a really funny match one time. I was playing with the Order of Recon. And I remember uh, Card Ninja was streaming it. It was really funny. Um, I had a couple of Royal Infantrymen on the board. And they were keeping like a couple of one health units alive. And then there was like two or three rumbles that were played. And then... They, they, my guys just kept on surviving. They moved together. It was so cool. Well, you're binding ridden, so now you're like almost useless. I'm wow. I'm actually like destroying his units. Besides, like this is real skirmisher. Oh, cool. I didn't think that was a thing I was gonna be able to do. Um, it doesn't look like his structures. Let's get rid of that. Bear paw. I'm scared of this. Let's move down. Um, I don't know what to do here. I can play a plating, I guess. Let's just play plating on you. An Illthorn here, and a Snargle Hunter down here. Alright. Wow. Somehow we destroyed his, like a lot of his stuff. Doesn't seem like we're gonna have the tools to win though. Who knows, maybe. His creatures are not that menacing because this idol's already down and this guy can't move. Elthorn seed. Deck recycles and just. Oh no, I already recycled. Wing shield. There's too many defensive units for me. Alright, let's get another Inferno Blast, please. I played that before the deck recycle, right? Okay, I can kill like these guys. Okay. Unfortunately, Spiky does do. Uh, 
combat damage. The armor absorbs it. Who has more creatures? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One or units. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you're gonna have armor two. Huh. Let's get rid of the bear paw for scrolls. Infernal blast. Yes. Should we just shoot Infernal Blast this turn? I don't think there's a point because I haven't seen any kind of countdown reduction from him. So I'm not like. I'm not feeling he has countdown reduction. You know what I'm saying? You dig? So. I'm not sure. Do I take the. I don't think having more growth is really going to do anything for, for us. And this idol is probably going to go down to this Ironclad River, anyways. So I'm just going to have this this thing just mindlessly attack right there. And I'll stick a Gravelock Guard up here. Because I think he can actually ping the idols down a little bit. And then I can start killing these guys from afar. I think the uh, buff to Gallant Defender and Righteous Partisan wasn't really needed. Uh, maybe it's a Righteous Partisan, but Gallant Defender was already decent. But now it's just, it almost always has like armor, so it's really hard to get around. Huh. <sighs> and if these all attacking guys like survive next turn, I can do fun things with them in an Inferno Blast. He's moving around. No. Oh man, he, oh yeah, for, he had a transposition. Oh no. No. Well, that that's just about like the game there. <laughs> if that didn't happen, I actually had like a tiny chance. Oh wait, plating, plating. I forgot about the plating. You're all probably like, yelling at your computer screens like, oh, it had plating, you're still alive. I am still alive. Cut of mass might actually help, so I'll be, but incendiary beast won't, so I'll get rid of that for scrolls. Oh, okay. We're gonna have a turn. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, alright, so we're gonna, this has armor two, and this has armor one. <sighs> Let's see. I can do this. I can do this, and I destroy. A lot of stuff. I can actually stag heart this to destroy that, but I'd rather destroy the relentless guy coming down my row than the thing that's going to attack, right? Um, and then I don't have to use another scroll. So yeah, let's do this. Boom. Oh no, I wish you took damage. The Elan Vital. And what do I want to do? I could take you out. Um, this Vengeful Vetter is like dead. Alright, I guess it made the choice for us. We'll just take out that guy. Which means that he can move around and destroy both of these. They say he's still gonna win, but you know, I'm surviving. I am surviving. I'm starting to think maybe I should have. Eh, doesn't really do a whole ton. He was still destroying with both these guys, I think. Okay. And another spiky, another spiky dude. How do I want to do this? Okay, so if you hit an idol, something's gonna take one, and it actually deals, I think, magic damage. I think that's what I remember. It's a little confusing. So you have magic armor one. The other stuff does not. Let's get rid of the overdrive. You know, let's get more resources now. We have a lot of. A lot of stuff we want to do here. Let's. I don't want to lose you. I'll just hit the idol. 
and I think the idol we're going to be defending here is this three health idol. So I'll stick the Tempest Reaver down. And that will be my turn. Move you back a little bit. Alright, let's see what that hits. Oh, it hits that. It's the thing I didn't want it to hit. Because if it hit this, at least I could Dark Strike it. Hit this, it would be vulnerable to an Infernal Blast, but... Oh well, it's just one in three chance. And... Hmm. I think he's gonna be a Z sniper is gonna be going hard for this for this idol. If he, if he wanders off here, I might be able to be able to pick it off. So many, so much spiky. Uh, unleash inner power. Hmm. It's not bad. Well. Let's keep it. I think it might be more useful than Totem Mask. Uh, let's. I have Eagle. Nog. Ready that? I'll be left with three. Um. I guess I should do this. I should kill you. I think I've killed the wing shields with like the dark strike every time. And uh, I th actually, Vitriol Aura would be such a good thing to put on this because he's gonna take hits and things. But the Alon Vital just protects it. Let's put a Nog down. Move you here and. Poison, but magic armor protects against poison, so I'm not gonna put the vitriol or all down yet. Doesn't really prohibit me from, doesn't really hurt me uh, not putting it down yet because uh, vitriol aura is only one cost, so I could probably play it any turn I want to. Wow, how are we hanging on to this game? Honestly, I probably should have sacrificed for more energy instead of wild. Because I don't think we're really using the wild much. And the energy, I might need like a lot of energy to, just, to have this guy a stronger attack to take down something like the Alt Defender. Luckily for me, his units right now aren't that menacing. I mean, he has nice defensive units. But, like, I took out his Skirmisher, but then again, he could just play, could just play another Skirmisher right now. When the skirmisher and wing soldiers come out again, that'll be bad for me. Ah, uh, he gets a scroll out of that. Okay. How do I want to do this? Let's see what he's going to do. Is he going to deal one damage to this? Another wing spear up there. Ugh. Hmm. I can't even play anything that's like that costs energy. I guess this guy's gonna be sacrificed. Maybe I have to go for like a surprise win. That might be the idea. I don't really want to sacrifice any of my creatures. I think they're too important. I, I'll probably play Staghard on you. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Rekindled Spirit for scrolls. Oh, redesign. Redesign will be good at another point. Right now, I think we want a Staghard. So that you don't die when I kill this. And I have to keep the... 
and I'm just gonna that'll be my turn because I have to and I'll move up actually with this maybe I can do some stuff next turn and move back okay so now I'm vulnerable at this top idol here let's see he had frost scales so at least one frost scale so the uh, stag heart did grave lock guard right now is not too safe I think my best bet here might be a surprise win I'm gonna keep hold of that unleash inner power and that redesign I'm probably gonna use them offensively crossbowman oh now I have to protect up here because I could lose this idol so easily hmm Maybe I should have used like Rekindled Spirit on this Ironclad Reaver. He does provide good protection, but I'm not drawing him. Okay. Electrify. <laughs> I have a Sandpack Memorial. Um, Sandpack Memorial Electrify. Let's go. I'm gonna keep this. Zambak Moral can give this guy a lot of attack. That's what it can do. Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and. S Wait, this guy has his attack is equal to your current energy. So, actually, redesign wouldn't increase this guy's attack. But Zambak Moral would. Um, let's go for more of that. I, I have to protect that idol up there, so I don't want to, like... I don't know. Let's sacrifice... Do I just leave this idol open? I want more energy, though. Let's sacrifice the Electrify for scrolls. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go with the sister of the fox and a vetter. Oh. Oh, it's an eruption. I have to start getting more energy. But yeah, I need to start getting more energy. I can go Sandpack Memorial, it's an eruption. That can be a play. Let's see, this coming turn, if this... Oh man, if he has a frost scale this turn, that would hurt me so much. I have so much stuff. But, let's say this thing survives. Then, I can... And, and I he leaves this idol open, I can draw that idol. And then if I sacrifice for resources, energy, and play this, this guy would have 8 attack. Not quite enough to destroy this idol. So I don't think we're going to be winning this coming turn. Redeploy. Oh no, that kills him. He was a really important guy to me. But, now I'm open to maybe... Uh-oh, did I lose? No, I didn't lose. If he has like a focus, I lose. Oh, I didn't lose yet, but... Ow. Ow, indeed. Ooh, Vicious Strike. We can get a surprise Vicious Strike win. Let's see. I need to... I want to sacrifice our energy, but this idol's so vulnerable. Like, so vulnerable. Um... I need the Vicious Strike. I also need... Sudden eruption. I wish I could like choose it to use. I wish I could use it. Make the sudden eruption only use wild. Um. All right. I think we have to go with the sand pack memorial sudden eruption play. Actually, not yet. Actually, yes, because I have to protect this. So let's do it. Let's go. Sand pack memorial. 
sacrifice the vitriol aura for energy sudden eruption oh boy that was awesome <laughs> huh. that was really cool I'm really happy about that and I'm gonna play plating on this because you know I think that's a wise choice oh boy I'll come out and hit him Whoop. I've I the thing is I needed I wanted that Sandpack Memorial. Um I wanted that Sandpack Memorial for the vicious strike. Because I needed it to have enough like attack to destroy that. Okay, dryadic power. Um, I can take down, I don't know what to do. I just, I don't know what to do really. Let's sacrifice, let's sacrifice the Unleash inner power for scrolls. And I'll go like this. Move you up and hope there's no frost scale. And I will I'll actually bear paw something. I'm gonna put Hugh here just in case he breaks through somehow. And I'll bear paw you so you attack next turn. And you won't die to a frost scale. Okay. I think I'm playing this pretty well. Oh man, the Dominion makes you makes that guy die. Okay, no frost scale. He is defending that well. Oh, Electrify. Electrify can come in, but I, I'm not going to draw that. My one structure in such a long time, so there's no point in keeping the Electrify for now. So let's just get rid of the Electrify. Ooh. Ooh. I can Dark Strike one of these. And then deal some damage to the idol. Um, dark strike. I guess that's what I should do. Or should I just should I hold off? I don't know. Let's see. If I draw like power. Um. First of all, it's plating you because I have to survive down here. Like, what am I supposed to do if I lose what's going on down there? And I will leave you guys there. And should I dark strike the, oh, this then? If I, let's see, if I, if I dark strike, it doesn't really. Alright, I'm just gonna dark strike. No, but I destroy that stuff anyways. You know what, Dark Strike? <laughs> okay. And I probably should have Dryadic Powered on this. Just to give it uh, more health so it doesn't die so easily. Okay. And believe it or not, if he doesn't have any, if he doesn't protect this idol at all, I can win with a Vicious Strike on the Sister of the Fox by Sacrifice for Energy Resources. Okay, he does protect that row. Okay. So he's gonna take down that. Man, if I just had something to move this Ironclad Reaver, 
That would be perfect. Overdrive, let's get rid of for scrolls. <sighs> Inferno Blast. I could Vicious Strike to take down. Let's take that down. Um, you have five things, but you have Illamitol, so I can't. I, there's no way I can really like hurt you. I can like vicious strike. No, I can't destroy that. Okay, we're probably gonna lose very soon. How do I want to do this? First of all, I'm going to dry power this. I don't want it dying. I don't want it dying to a frost scale. Next, should I vicious strike? Mm, yes, I'm going to vicious strike. Oh, actually, I can. Are you dealing damage to it? Yes, I'm gonna redesign this so that it dies. Move you forward, make sure you attack first. And I can't actually play anything else. Because if I play anything else, I could have played the Vicious Strike actually. I probably should have. Oh, I should have played the Vicious Strike because now. Um, okay, that was good redesign, I think. I couldn't play another unit though because then the good thing would have armor. So I couldn't play that Ventral better. Uh, well then, um, vitriol or, uh, let's get rid of the vicious strike. Sudden eruption. I have to wait for that sand pack memorial to come for a sudden eruption play. Uh, <sighs> if I I'm kind of dead let's sacrifice this thing play a vengeful better And that will be that. I need. I just. I, I just. I just had something to move this ironclad reaver. Oh. Welp. I, I think I, I'm pretty proud of the fact that I've been able to, uh, like, survive in this match with this kind of deck for so long. That hurts. And... Yeah, I think I did a pretty good job of sur uh, surviving till round 24 in this session match by picking just from one column. And and almost winning, just getting that last title down to four. But Z Sniper has been doing a good job of protecting his top idol. Yeah, I'm going to lose. 
We're probably gonna lose this coming turn. Uh, Tempest Reaver. Welp. Let's get this Tempest Reaver down. Give it some vitriol aura. And you're not doing anything for us. Let's just kill you. Okay. Here we are then. We're just about to lose. The only chance I probably have is if I draw the Sandback Memorial early on in this next deck cycle. And I'm able to use it to have make this guy have a lot of attack and somehow. Oh, that's the. Oh, is it? <sighs> well, I've probably just about reached the limit. Let's play that. Sacrifice that for scrolls. Um, I don't know. Not much I could do. I guess I'll. Inferno Blast there instead of up there. I'll sacrifice that guy. I'll put Illthorn there. And I'll stick a Dust Runner here. I think we've lost this top row. Alright. Also, these guys will die to the Illthorn. Well, one of them will, if he attacks that row. Ugh. Well, Z Sniper has had answers to me. I should probably just surrender. Oh, these both these guys are both poisoned. Wow. Let's play the Eye of Eagle. Um, let's get rid of the Tick Bomb. Dark Strike. I don't know. Let's play the Vetter. Let's give it plating. Um Move down, move down. Snargle Hunter and Gravelock Guard. Okay. Now, if I somehow top deck like a Vicious Strike and a and a uh, Sandpack Memorial, and have enough resources to do other stuff, then maybe I can get something going. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see. They just had more heavy hitters in this deck. Man. Wait, holy cow, this match has been so long. Around 27, this is a long video. Videos have been very long lately. Wing Spear. Okay, he's he has so many low cost units like me, he's just been able to continue this onslaught. Welp. That's it. Well that's I it's almost it. I guess to survive another turn I can 
Dark Strike. And I will go like that. And let's go like this. For the O, oh, actually. Oh, what if I'm able to win by by top decking by top decking a um, that thing that the Sandpack Memorial, and then with a sudden eruption, clearing like all these units and then having these guys attack the idol. If that happens, oh, well, that's not happening. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't play Vicious Strike and Sack Sam Pack and Warrior. Because they would essentially use up all your resources. This, this is the second time this guy has been finding rooted. Well, I mean, he's died and then he's been resummoned. And he has gotten he has bad luck. He just. That binding root is just chasing him all around. Welp. Kindled Spirit. Let's get rid of that. Actually, let's play it. Ironclad or Reaver. Let's keep that. And. You're gonna die. Uh. If I play the Ironclad here whatever Welp. I've been hanging on maybe this guy's gonna surrender saying like he has to like eat dinner or something I probably just, I probably should have played plating oh no I don't need to play plating Hmm. Up. Oh. GGWP. Finally. <laughs> oh my god, that match took forever. And I know I said I was going to play two matches. I'm not going to play two matches. I'm going to surrender this deck probably right now. Yeah, I'll just surrender the deck. Um. Whatever. Let's just grab a black card that was kind of fun <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that uh, like the video if you did enjoy subscribe for more content and um, keep on scrolling scrollgers I'll see you next time